Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go and you want to open up your text editor, in this case Microsoft Notepad. So we're going to type in the default HTML tag, so HTML, head, title, whatever title you want, this website uh, contains or has, rather I should say, a side menu bar. Close the title tag, close the head tag, and open the body tag, have BG colour, so background colour, equals, uh, I'm going to do 999999 which is a light grey. So once you've done that, we want to create a table. So table width equals, we're going to put 900, that's a reasonable size. Cell spacing equals zero. Cell padding equals zero. Um, we can now close the table tag, um, and or we can, we can add a style, we, sorry, we're going to add a style padding to this. So style equals padding dash top, uh, so we're going to do 10px, so px stands for pixels, and then uh, padding bottom is, again, 10px. And then we can close the table tag. Open the tr tag, so tr, and close that tag, and open the td tag. Um, now, we want to align this whole thing in the centre, so div align equals centre, that can be just below the body tag. Um, and then we also want everything inside the table to be in the centre, so td align equals centre. Once we've done this, we can enter our uh, content for inside this table. So we're going to do, we're going to format this, so font face equals Arial, the size is 6, the default size as I've said before in my other tutorials is 3, so size 6 is a bit bigger than default size. So that's our font sorted out, and we can add a background colour for the specific table, we can add, we're going to add white for the uh, table, so that's six Fs is the colour code for white. So what we can put in the table is website banner goes here. Um, close the font, close the TD tag, close the TR tag, and close the table tag. Ooh, table. Um, so that's all the tags say, uh, done. So now we can save it. So file, save as, save it to wherever you want. We're going to save it to the desktop for this instance index.html, it can be whatever you want, .html. We can now go to the desktop and we're going to open up our, our index.html with whatever internet browser. In this case I'm going to be using Google Chrome, you can use Internet Explorer, or like Firefox, Safari, whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable using. And as you can see, we've now opened up the website, the website banner goes here, and we've also got, if you'll notice, a space between the top and the bottom of the table. That is because we've got 10px, 10 pixels of padding at the top and, and if I go along, 10 at the bottom. So that's 10 at the top and bottom. So if I alter this to zero um, and then press file, save or control S, go back to the document and press refresh, you'll see there's no space between the text and the bottom. So we're going to go and we're going to add 10 pixels again, press file, save, press refresh and it's gone back to having a bit of padding. Um, and where it says website banner goes here, you can obviously add an image or whatever you want. But now we're going to create another table directly below our, where our banner would be. Um, so do the same thing again. I'm going to just make this a bit bigger now. So table BG colour or width equals whatever order you want to do it in. So width equals 900. So, uh, BG colour I'm going to do now. So BG colour equals, um, I'm going to have a fairly dark grey now I think actually. So um, or a black, I'm going to go for. So, black is six zeros. Um, cell spacing equals, again, zero. Cell padding equals, again, we want zero. Um, and as previously done, we want padding on this. So, style equals padding dash top equals 10 pixels, px. Padding dash bottom, again, 10 px, pixels. Um, and now this one time, we... Um, we're going to leave it like that, but I'll show you later on how to add it to the left and the right. So we close the table, we want to open the TR tag, we want to open the TD tag, we want to, um, and now we want to, again, format the uh, text. So we can add, actually we're going to align this, so TD V align. V align is aligning it from the top or the bottom. Um, align is aligning it in the centre, left or right. So V align equals top, so this means everything inside the table will appear at the very top. If you were to put bottom, it would appear at the bottom. So VR line equals top, home, BR, about, BR. BR is simply a line break, so we want a break between each of them. If you were to skip out the BR, 
then it would just be the text next to each other, even if you put an enter key in. So you've got to do it correctly. So here is our menu bar. This is where our menu bar is going to be. Obviously, you can format this again, so we're going to have an Arial font. We can choose whatever size or colour we want, so colour equals um, FFF, FFF, so six Fs is white. Uh, size 3, which is default, so we don't really need to put that in, but you can if you want, I've done that. Um, and font, close the font tag, close the TD tag, close the TR tag, um, sorry, close the TD tag and open another TD tag. Um, TD width equals 850, sorry, 750 I'm going to put. Um, now at the top I haven't, I'm now going to do this, width equals 150, because 150 and 750 equals 900, which is what we put our banner size as, so it'll look good. So, uh, TD width equals 750, VLine equals top, again, so the text is aligned at the top. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to format this again, so font face equals Arial, colour equals 6Fs, which is again, white, as I said before. Size equals 4, which is a bit bigger than the default size of 3. And then, whatever text you want in here, welcome to my site, here is my content. Um, close the font tag, close the TD tag, close the TR tag, and close the table tag. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to, we can, we can finish it off by going closing the body tag and the HTML tag. And so now we are going to go to File, Save or Control S and we're going to go back to our document, press refresh. And as you can see, we've now got our menu bar down the side um, and we've got our content here. But it doesn't look very good. It's not very spaced out. It's not looking very good because we haven't added any, added any spacing. If you can see the down the side, it's directly next to the edge. So we can add padding for this now. So we go find our TD tag for our menu bar. And we do space style padding dash left because this is to the left. We want padding of, we're going to put um, five pixels. Five pixels should be good enough. Um, we're going to press file, we're going to press save, refresh our HTML document. As it, and as you can see, it's shifted over a bit. There's five pixel width of padding there. We also want a line. Um, we, sorry, we're also going to add links to our menu bar, so obviously it's a functional menu bar. A href equals index, close that uh, link. A href equals about.html, and then after the about, close that link. After gain, um, etc. You can do this with all of them, but I'm only going to do it to just to speed up the tutorial. And as you can see, these are functional links. So if I click about, it's gone to about.html, but obviously I haven't created a page called about.html, so the web page cannot be found. Press home and it will just take you to index which we're already at. Um, so there you go. Now in between the menu bar and the welcome to my site, the, the content, we want a kind of a line down the middle separating the two. So to do this we want to add a third um, column, if you like, to our table. So between the TD tag closing off the menu bar and the TD1 opening the content, we want to add another TD. So TD width equals 2. This is a really small one and we want to so take two off that, so 748 instead of 750. BG colour for this, we want white, so FFF, FFF, 6 Fs equals white. Um, as shown earlier, because the background for this is default black, we want to get rid of that, because <clears throat> that will mean everything inside the table is black, but we don't want that. We want certain columns to be different colours. So TD in here, BG colour equals black. So that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Um, and we also want the background for the content to be black. So TD BG color equals BG color equals 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 zeros. Um, now we go back to the middle column and we can close the TD. And in between the two TDs we can add a space. So and NBSP. And NBSP. That is just the code for one space. Once we've done that, press File, Save and press Refresh and as you can see there's a column in between our menu bar to the left and our content on the right. And again, our content has got no padding, so we can add padding now. So TD style equals padding left, padding dash left equals, I'm going to add 5 pixels again, close the style tag, press File, Save, press Refresh and as you can see the content has shifted a little bit to the right giving it padding on the left. So there you go, that is our menu bar on the left hand side, a side menu bar. Thanks for watching guys, please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe, more video tutorials coming up soon.